White Sox hosting the A's. The A's are minus 165 on the money line. The White Sox are plus 135. The over-under is 8.5 runs. The A's laying a run and a half on the run line are minus 105, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win by two or more. And the White Sox getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 115, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you'd win. They lose by one run, you win. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to first pitch tomorrow. The weather is supposed to be 78 degrees, but 8 mile an hour winds from the left to the right and a 4% chance of rain. Head to head, the A's are on a two game winning streak. They are 6 and 4 against the White Sox in their last 10, but who really doesn't have a winning streak against them? The home team is 5 and 5. The favorites won the last two games they played against each other. The underdog is 6 and 4 on the money line. The underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is 7 and 3. There have been three one run games in their last 10. The under is hitting their last six. The under is six and four, and the under eight and a half runs. Also, six and four. The White Sox are one and four in Flexen's last five starts. Four and two thirds innings pitched, 5.6 hits, 2.2 earned runs, 3.6 strikeouts, two walks, 0.6 home runs. He's given up home runs in back to back starts, and he gave up two in his last start. 86.2 pitches per game, 19.4 pitches per inning. And then when we flip it to Jin, in his last five appearances, in the games that he started, he's gone at least five innings, but this is an average. He came in relief in two of those games. Three and two-thirds innings pitched, four strikeouts, 11.8 outs recorded, 3.4 hits, 1.2 walks, two earned runs, 0.6 home runs. He did give up one in his last start. 59.6 pitches per game, 15.5 pitches per inning. The A's are 3-1 and one in their last four. Seven runs, nine runs, nine runs, two runs. Four runs and a win. Five runs and a win. Three runs and a loss. Two runs and a win. And then for the White Sox, they're on a four-game losing streak. Eight runs, five runs, ten runs, two runs. Three runs and a loss. Shut out and a loss. Four runs and a loss. Shut out and a loss. A's with the money line. A's laying the runs and the under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.